now having a new baby. I had my baby. first child at about 17. Mm. Well, I think I was 18, so what, what I learned, I know you need money for sure. <laughs> I know a lot of people say time, but you need money. Always <laughs> Personally, right now, I'm tired. You tired? <laughs> I'm tired. What you going on? Uh, this weekend, we have the Six Figure Barber Blueprint. So, that is about to be a game changer for just barbers all over the country coming out to learn about how to actually obtain what all, six figures. What all is the event about? Uh, it's a networking opportunity. It's also giving them the strategy, the actual blueprint on how to do things the intangible way. A lot of people think when it comes to making money, you have to necessarily have money. You hit it on that earlier. Sometimes it's some structure that you can put in place that's gonna literally make you like a magnet to the money. So really giving them that play. Dope, dope. dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another opportunity too for Black Excellence to debut, to yep. drop. We lunching Black Excellence, March 5th. Yep. For all y'all don't know, that's our cosmetic line. Yep. Yep. We got beard products. We got the gloves coming. We got the bump, bump products yep. coming. Yep. We got a facial product coming. So you guys just stay tuned in. And their <laughs> website is www.blackexcellent.us. You can get all our products on their website. So yep. you guys tune in. We got their beard food. We got the beard fertilizer. We got the beard bath. Beard <laughs> bath, yep. Just that beard wash, that beard shampoo that's gonna get you nice and full. And um, yeah, so we got a lot of stuff coming. A lot of stuff that we've been working on for, shoot, how long now? Uh, Black Excellence has been about a year because yeah. they just sent us the Secretary of State today to Facts. renew it. Yep. So, so it's a new year we reaching with that. It took a lot of time in the development of those products, mm -hmm. kind of coming up with the name, logistics, building the marketing everything. behind it, yep. the logistics. Logistics is a big thing in business. A lot of people don't even look at the logistics. Right. They don't know how they're sh going to ship it. Yeah. They don't know how the label going to look. Yeah. So we kind of did a whole product development of this product because it meant it's something that meant everything to us. Cause, right. you know, we tried a lot of different products and we wanted to create our own. Right. Yeah. And then I know me personally, just being in the industry, I've used some of everything you know, on my clients, on myself. So to be able to develop our own product and have something that's like, yes, I stamp it, I approve it. It just is a different feel. Like the ownership just hit different. And then it was actually fun. Facts. It's every good. part, yeah. every <laughs> part of the business was fun. To yeah, me. it was a lot of stuff. It was a lot. You know, I think me and Israel came up with all the names over a taco. So that's in ta tequila. Yeah, <laughs> I don't drink tequila, but it was it, it was what I drink. Definitely had a drink, God dang it. Yeah, we had a couple show. of drinks, and then we came up with the name. So. We wanted to do something more like full of culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something that people can relate to. Yeah. And you know? just even with the names, not making them too PC. You know, PC, yeah. Something that people can relate to. And also they'll remember it's going to stand out instead of it just saying beard wash, we did beer bath. Instead of it being beard oil, we did the beer food. So, Cause you know, beard oil definitely grows your beard if you got the right ingredients. Right. right. Yeah. So when we found the ingredients that's going to help grow your beard. Yeah, so how the patchy, you know, we all promote that. beard growth, all that beard health, skin health, all that. So it's black excellence is about to be a vibe. So yeah. just and then it's for us, man. We excellent. We excellent people, man. We greatness. Facts. Facts. I know everything around us is greatness. With black excellence to everything we doing. So that's kind of how how we feeling in yeah. the moment. Well, how you feeling though? I feel great, man. I feel amazing. I'm kind of embracing. Being a father more. Okay. You know. Baby daughter, on the way. I got a baby on the way. My <laughs> daughter about to turn 16 in a couple of days. So I've been spending a lot more time with my son. And it's an interesting process because I want to raise, you know, strong children. Like I always say, it's easy to raise strong children and repair broken adults. A lot mm -hmm. of people have broken adults. So I'm kind of embracing that more. That's what's up. Yeah. Well, what challenges would you say you run into with just being... Not a better father, but just like you said, embracing fatherhood. Like, what's the challenges or what's the different perspective from when you had your first child to now having a new baby? My first child at about 17. Mm. Well, I think I was 18. So, what what I learned, I know you need money for sure. <laughs> I know a lot of people say time, but you need money. Yeah, and it's kind of hard to juggle between the two. Mm. But I got stuff kind of set up now to where I kind of make passive income. Yeah, but I would tell all my new fathers out there and my new mothers is embrace 
you know, change because the world is changing. Your yeah. kids are changing each day, every day. Right. So you got to listen to them because they are the future. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think they keep us up to date. But if I could go and say something that I learned from being a father, every kid is different for sure. Mm. That's amazing. And, uh, another thing I would say is genetics matter. Mm. I think we should study who we're going to uh, have a baby by. I think I heard uh, Ocho Cinco say that. Mm -hmm. Like, he wanted his kids to be like athletes. Yeah. So he studied. Yeah. You know, and I, I'm it. a strong believer in that. That makes sense. So, so I was being say, intentional about who you are actually about to create another human with. <laughs> correct. Because, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a job in, in itself, especially if you want your kids to be successful as a job. Right. Yeah, definitely. Because the school ain't gonna do it. Most people send their kids right. to school and they don't do anything outside of school. Yeah. But kids have a lot of different things that they want to do and they, they think. Mm -hmm. You gotta listen to the way they think. Yeah. Because it's not always the way you think. All right. Yeah, Most they, people think their kids is a mini them. Mm -hmm. you no, know, they got their own personality, they got right. their own attitude, they got their own mood swings. Yep. So you have to kind of pay attention to that as a father. Yeah. And you see it when your kid grow up, you know, or when you see it just compared to your parents. Mm -hmm. Like, we are different, we have similarities, but we different. And Correct. that's the truth. People need to identify that early. Like, yeah, my kid is a, their own person. I can't treat them like they me or how I would. Like, people say, oh, I want to give my kid what I didn't have. Or, I definitely like, don't blah, believe blah. in that. That's what I was about to say. Like, <laughs> it, you know, they need to experience what it feels like to yeah. see what, you know, they don't need to have the world given to them. They Correct. need to actually work for it because it builds character for one. Yeah. And it's, that's real life. <laughs> you know, I heard Shaq say this one time, I'm rich, y'all not yeah, exactly. rich. exactly. We not rich, I'm rich. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. I kind of believe in that. Like yeah. me, I, I'm a strong believer that I'm going to put all my money that I accumulate in the trust and my kids will have to prove mm -hmm. what they going to do with their life. I don't yeah. think you should just give them all your money. Plus like, also giving them the information, the resources, training mm -hmm. them up so when they do get it, they don't just blow and it. And then we gotta also look, information is changing daily. Facts. So we gotta stay studying and embracing change as well. Yeah. Cause I know a lot of people talk about what they parents, how they parents raised them. Mm -hmm. And you know, the world is changing right at our fingertips. Yeah. What would so, you say is the biggest change in life right now? Chat GPT, AI technology, mm -hmm. Web3 coming. So yeah. you got a lot of different programs and softwares that people can use. I think college people, you know, they still talking about sending their kids to college, but they're not studying artificial intelligence. Right. Especially us as black people, we need to start studying AI. And right. I, I, I screamed that and I talked to like, this week alone, I talked to about 70 people, cause I counted. Mm. And I think two of them know what AI is mm. and the rest don't. Dang. And it's gonna change the world so quick. Absolutely. Yeah, it's all these big companies that are investing from Google to Microsoft to what? Uh, Facebook, to it, everybody is investing into AI and just the software and pretty much trying to be on the same to where you can talk, ask a question, he's gonna give you an answer. And then, you know, another thing is big that's gonna come with AI is prompt, prompt engineering, prompt in the AI. Yeah. So prompt in the AI, a lot of people are asking the AI questions like Google, mm -hmm. but the AI has so much unlimited power that you can ask the questions almost like a human. Cause like you're really, talking to it. Yeah, it's yeah. a language processing. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a language processing yeah. machine. That's what it's built for. So, so you're saying one way it's gonna update the way that it understands correct. what you're saying. So it's like Google on steroids. Yeah. And you can ask it certain things. You can ask it to write things emotionally. Yeah. You can ask it to break down the formula certain things. You can ask it for coding, you know, problems yeah. that you have. You can ask it a lot of problems yeah. and it'll solve it for you. Yeah. So AI is not a not a bad thing, it's actually a good thing. And AI has already been here. Yeah. Like, you look at the self-checkouts. Yeah, Siri, self-checkouts, you ask Alexa. It's that's just a simple form of it. We just kind of have taken it for granted or accepted for what it was. Now but it's I like, think it's about to go to a whole hell yeah. another level. People just ain't. Yeah. Paying attention. You have to pay attention to AI. Yeah. It's coming, it's here, it's gonna stay. Yeah. People are not paying attention enough for it to for it to affect their life right now, but it might affect it in the next month or the next two months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I'm warning everybody, pay attention to AI. Correct. Look at your businesses, look at your personal life, look how you can incorporate AI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't be afraid of it. See different ways that it can make your life better. 
There's yeah. a lot of things that you can use AI for that we've started even using it for in our business. Yeah. And in my personal, I know as well, you know, Terrence, I'm sure he's using it too. I know he's using it. And even incorporating it into like teaching his son about AI. That Correct. shit is important. Definitely important. It's the same thing as financial literacy. It's the same thing as learning about taxes. It's the same thing as learning about credit. And I think AI is going to take the place of a it lot is. of accounting. <laughs> Those type of businesses, of, yeah. You know, it, it can do a lot of different things. Correct. People not not looking at what all it can do. Yeah. And if they release this to the public for free, mm -hmm. you got chat. GTP for free. Yeah. That's three. They got the four I already created. Right. Imagine what that can do. Right. A lot of people ain't. That's why I, I want, I would tell people, pay attention to AI. Mm -hmm. yeah. Study AI, because it's, it's some crazy stuff that's going to come out of AI. Facts. Everywhere I've been, man, I've been up in my bag. All about my biz, executing all my plans. Connecting all the ends, yeah, I'm running to the winds. Fighting to the end, all I see is checker flags.